Hi everybody, good evening and welcome back to Vibe MMA Show. Well, I don't even know what time it is. It's probably 11 midnight. What time is it, babe? It is Thursday. It is officially Thanksgiving Day. Gobble, gobble day. Mm. Excuse me. Should have never done that. Uh, but welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you this project that I recently finished. It is a really cool project. It is something that I'm trying for the first time and it really really awesome to be honest with you so recently Romeo has decided that he wants to get a motorcycle license because he wants to get a motorcycle cool awesome whatever however because of the whole situation with COVID they are not giving him the necessary supplies that he needs for the class so he has to buy everything himself meaning that he has to get his own helmet his own gloves his own long sleeve shirt or jacket or whatever it is that he wants to use to cover uh, the top part of the top portion of his body which is the torso shoulders arms and all of that um, jeans and then of course motorcycle boots or sneakers whichever one you can find now apparently there's a huge variety I never knew this I just thought you could wear regular shoes you learn something new every day mm -hmm. so the boots that he got actually look like sneakers. They're really cool. The only problem is that the bottom sole is completely white. It looks, eh, it doesn't really fit with how the sneaker slash boot looks. So with some research, we decided that we were gonna pick the sole. Now, we originally thought that we can use just a regular acrylic base paint, vinyl base paint, oil base, water base, whatever it is, and it'd be perfectly fine. That is not the case. After further research, we have decided and actually figured out that the proper paint to paint the sole of the sneakers is this. So it's called Leather Studio. It's black. Now this is a leather and vinyl paint. So the bottom of the sole is not completely leather. It's kind of like this silicone plastic material. However, the leather vinyl paint adheres to it really, really good. So, in continuation, I'm going to be showing you the time lapse of the entire project, how it went down, what the shoes looked like at the beginning, how to use the masking tape to tape off the entire border, that way you don't paint the sneaker itself, and what to use to seal everything in. So, like I said, this is the first time I'm doing this project. It's actually really cool. Thinking about doing it more to my other shoes, maybe my friend's shoes. I don't know. I might put it out there that this is something I do. Some new services. I don't know. You never know. With COVID, new things pop up every day. So, happy Thanksgiving. Stay tuned. Hope you liked the time lapse video. Mm -hmm. Yes, I've already started drinking. And uh, see you in a little bit. Bye. Hey everyone, so for this portion of the video, what you need to do is go ahead and perfectly outline uh, the bottom of the sole with the fabric with the masking tape. And instead of doing one layer, go ahead and do two to make sure you protect the fabric. All right guys, so after putting the masking tape, you're just gonna go ahead and apply a thin layer of the leather paint onto the bottom of the sole and just let it dry for about 30 minutes. And then after 30 minutes, we'll come back and apply a second coat. All right, it's been about 30 minutes. We're applying the second layer. So because the material is pretty rough, instead of just passing the brush over, I started dabbing it as it was a better turnout for that type of sole. So just go ahead and completely cover it. And once you are done, let it dry for another 30 minutes and go ahead and check the entire uh, sole and see if you need to apply another coat. so we are officially done we only needed to do two layers of the leather paint on the soles of the sneakers and it fully covered everything so as i stated before if after the second layer when you take a look at it you still see a couple of white spots go ahead and uh, just pass over it or if you have the really rough material on the bottom of your soles go ahead and dab it uh, please do this according to the type of material that is on your sole Okay, make sure you analyze it very well before you just go ahead and just do something and then mispaint it or miss a lot of spots. Um, however, for me, after the second layer, it came out perfectly fine. I didn't have to do anything else. So now to seal everything in, I am going to use the Krylon UV resistant clear coating. Um, I went ahead and got that at Michael's. It is a real, real good coating and it, 
it is a matte finish. You can also get it in the gloss finish as well as uh, the finish on the sneakers itself is a gloss finish. It is not a matte finish. Just to kind of give you an idea what I mean. Uh, there you go. You can see a little bit of the reflection, which is meaning that it is a gloss finish. I personally don't like the gloss finish. I feel like it doesn't go very well, especially with this uh, specific material of the boot. So that's why we went ahead and got the sealant of a matte finish. So make sure you wear a mask or uh, it doesn't have to be specifically this one, but make sure you do wear a mask as the fumes from the sealant is, is very, very potent, very strong. And if you do inhale it, it will start up a coughing fit or not even that it's actually really bad for you. So make sure you're wearing a mask and make sure you are in an open area. Do not use the spray sealant inside the house. Please, I beg you, don't do it. Okay, so stay tuned and I'll come back with the finished product. Hey guys, so we are officially completely done. The seal has been applied to the sneakers and it has already fully dried. So this is the finished product, as you can see here. And like I told you, it's a complete matte finish. So it's not glossy, nothing. Okay, so that is the boot. All right, we are officially done. So if you wanna see more videos of uh, projects like this, let me know in the comments below and I will be taking more ideas. I'll probably try other sneakers as well. Like I stated before, I'm still iffy on whether I'm gonna put it out there that this is something that I'm gonna start doing and then see about charging. I'm not 100% sure as I'm also thinking about possibly doing patterns on the soles of uh, sneakers. I do have an old pair of sneakers that I'm possibly gonna do a pattern, see how it comes out and if it looks good, then yeah, definitely, why not? It's something to just put out there and have fun with it. So again, thank you for coming onto my channel. I finally uh, was able to film this last video. I'm sorry it's taken so long, but if you've seen my other video, then you would see that uh, I was currently dealing with some issues. And now that I'm back, uh, well, back to being myself and back in action, I will be start putting up more and more content. So. Thank you again for visiting my channel. Any ideas, topics, anything pending for your thoughts, please leave it in your comments below. If you're just tuning in and this is your first time seeing my video, please hit the subscribe button on the bottom. Um, again, as always, stay cool, stay positive, um, spread nothing but love and peace to everybody. Don't be a Karen, <laughs> don't be a Kevin. <laughs> uh, we're so close to the holidays and just, Love you guys. Thanks for watching my channel. Bye.